This video, sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it a broken title. And using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 24 frames per second. You are free to use your own settings. The first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it background, and using this dark grey color for it. You can use any background you want. Now we are going to add our text on it. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. By the way, you can download this font, from the link in the description. Now right click on your text layer, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it title comp, and then hit OK. Now right click on it once again, go to the layer styles, and click on inner glow. Let's do some adjustments. Open this inner glow option. And first, change the blend mode to the multiply. Now change the color to the gray, or any dark color you want. Zoom in a little, and this is how the text look now. Scroll down to bottom and change the size value to 10. It will soften the glow, and your text will look like this. Fit 100%, and now we are moving to the next step. Go to around 2 second position, select your text layer, and then press Ctrl, or Command Shift D, to split the layer into two. Now select the top layer, and place it to the right. Also, drag the edge of this layer to the left and then place the starting point onto the 2 second, so there will be no gap, in both layers. Cool. Let's add some effect to this top layer. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the shatter effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the view to rendered. And then open the shape. Here, change the pattern to glass, and it will show the broken shape of the glass. Let's go to around 2 second position, so I can see the changes clearly. We don't need the extrusion depth, because, the text is going to shatter, in minimum amount. So let's change the extrusion value to 0.01. It will reduce the depth of the particles, and save a lot of time in rendering. Also, change the value of the repetition to 20, to increase the particle amount. Now open Force 1, and change the strength value to 0.09. And this is how the text will look now. But there is a problem. The text is going downward, because of the gravity. We will fix it, but first, open the Force 2 option, and change each value to 0 here. Because we don't need them. Now open Physics, and change the gravity value to 0 and the text will stop from falling down. Cool. Now import this glass texture layer into your project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it on top of all layers, and this is how it will look now. Let's add some blur to the text layer, where the glass is appearing. So create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it glass. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fast blur. You can use the Gaussian blur as well. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the blur radius value to 3. If you can see, everything has turned blurry at this moment. But we can fix it. Place this glass layer, 
at below of the shadow layer. And now, only the text will be blur. Let's add some mask to the glass layer. It will look like the text is placed behind the glass. So go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Make sure to select the glass layer. Now zoom in a little, and create a mask around the broken piece of glass. The mask doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure to cover it as close as possible. I am adding two masks on both broken pieces. And this is how the text will look now. The text behind the glass is blurry, and everything else is sharp. Now press F, to open feather. Change the feather value to 5 pixels. And this is how the text looks now. Let's place the shutter, as well as the glass layer at 2 second position. So go to the 2 second position, select the shutter, and the glass layer. And press the square bracket key, to place the starting position at 2 seconds. And this is how it will look now. Cool. Now we are moving to the next step. Create a new null object. And call it shake. Now press P, to open position. Press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard. And click on this stopwatch icon, to add an expression. In this expression box, type wiggle, parentheses, 100 comma, 0.3. Click anywhere on the screen, to eject from the expression box. And the expression has been added to it. Now select all layers, except the background and shake layer. Then parent them with this shake layer. In case your parent tab is not available here, then right click on it, go to the columns, and choose parent. Now grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the shake layer. Now each layer is linked with this shake layer. Cool. In case you want, you can always adjust the expression value, according to your requirement. Let's select the shutter layer once again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC jaws. Apply it on the layer, and we will use it, to add animation on the glass layer. Let's change the direction value to 90 degrees, and the completion value to around 60%. So that, the shatter layer will disappear completely. Now go to the 2 second position, and add a keyframe on the completion. Then go to around a few frames forward, and change the completion value to 0%. Also, change the height value to 0 as well. And this is how the shatter layer animation will look now. Cool. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Let's bring them closer, to make the animation a little faster. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Not bad. Let's zoom in a little. Select the keyframe. And then open graph editor. In case your graph does not look like this, then right click on it, and choose edit speed graph. Now change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and adjust the keyframe, and see if you like it. The animation should be faster. Also, place it to the left a little, so that it will appear before the text starts shattering. Now minimize all layers. Then select the shake layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select all layers, except the background and the top layer. And then pre-compose them. I am calling it title sequence, and then hit OK. Now make two more duplicates of this layer, and rename these layers, as the red, green, and blue. We will use them to make the RGB split effect. Select all layers, and parent them with the shake layer. Select the red layer. Go to the effects and presets, and search for the shift channel. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Keep the take red from red. And change everything to fall off. Select the green layer, apply the shift channel, and turn everything fall off, except the green. Do the same with the blue layer as well. Keep the blue layer on, and everything else will be off. Cool.
Now select all three title layers, and change their blend mode to the screen. The text will have the original color. Select the green layer, and change the parent to none. Also, change the parent to none for the blue layer as well. Now only the red layer is linked with the shake 2 layer. Cool. Let's change the expression now. Select the shake 2 layer, and press U double time, to reveal expression. In this expression box, replace the 0.3, to 3. Click anywhere to eject from the expression box. Zoom out a little, and it is creating the RGB split effect. Cool. Now we are moving to the last step. Create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it Glow. Place it on top of all layers, then go to the effects and presets. Here search for the Glow. Apply it onto the layer. And first, change the Glow intensity value to 0.5. Also, change the Glow radius value to 5. Let's change the Glow threshold value to 75%. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and... Sayonara. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.